this is Keiko from Brooklyn Shoe Space. This is Shoe Talks Quarantine Edition. Um, today the guest is Lisa Sorrell, a cowboy boot maker out of Oklahoma. Um, she is an uh, inspiration for me. Um, her beautiful uh, boot tops are like nothing compared to, not nothing, amazing. There's nothing that can compete with her, I feel like. She has beautiful dynamic stitches. Um, I follow, I've read her book, The um, Art of Inlay and Overlay. Um, it's very beautiful. I highly recommend it. Um, I kicked myself for not uh, going to this uh, Shoemakers Forum back when she hosted it uh, in maybe 2014 or 15. Um, and ever since I've met her at a shoe forum it's, um, in Savannah as well as RISD, but um, I haven't taken her classes um and right now i don't have a time to go and apprentice and i don't really know if she takes apprentices at the moment so <laughs> i'm like kicking myself for that but anyway uh we'll get started uh lisa is on so i'm going to invite her into this conversation and we're waiting hello hey Hi, how are you, Lisa? I'm doing well. I forgot until like 30 seconds ago, and then I was running to get my <laughs> iPad set up. Thank you so much for, you know, getting online with me. Um, how is your quarantine done to your life and your craft? How are you dealing with this at the moment? It hasn't changed a whole lot for me. I own my own business, and I work alone, so nothing's really changed in that regard. Right, and... You're, you live near or right next to where you work? I live about three miles away. So okay. I have to drive okay. to work, but I, I own my building and I have an entryway area so I can just put boxes to be shipped at the entryway and they can come pick up boxes and they can leave boxes. Without you meeting them? Yeah. Wow, that's great. Oh my goodness. How, where do I start? Um, <laughs> do you think you can move the camera a little bit to show us a, a little bit of your studio space? Um, maybe. Let's see. I can see a little bit of machinery in the back. Yes. Uh, this is my straight needle. And uh -huh. she is a wonderful machine that usually doesn't give me any problems. And this is my curved needle. Yes. This is for your outsole stitching. I, yes. Yeah. She is the boss of the shop. Uh-huh. And we always what? let her choose the music. What's her name? I remember you used this. I think I heard or somewhere that you sing to her or she likes a certain music or does she yes. pick she every likes, day? I don't really have a name for her, but she <laughs> likes a, a, a really sad song about the Civil War by the Gibson Brothers called oh Last goodness. Letter Home. Oh, wow. <laughs> so what, is, what happens when you put a different song on? Does she kind of have a little fit or? Uh, she has fits whenever she decides. But <laughs> to be honest, uh, yeah. she and I are getting along much better nowadays. Oh, that's much, great. Much better. That is great. So let's see. I have a pretty big shop, as you can tell. Yeah. Oh, so spacious. Yes, that, that's where I work. Mm -hmm. um, right back here. This is where I do all of the inlay and overlay. And as uh -huh. you can see, um, I'm working on a pretty cool design right now. Ooh. Is this for a client? Yes. yes do you ever have time to work on your own personal projects? Yes, yeah, sometimes I do play, to be honest. This is what I'm playing with now. It's a uh -huh. pair of sandals Ooh. with a little cowboy boot wingtip. Oh, wow, wow, I like that. And I have no clue what I'm doing, so I cannot promise you you'll ever see me wearing them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you'll wear it. We'll see, we'll see how, how I guess yeah. it has to be comfortable for you. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much You're for welcome. showing um, do you? Where do you get your inspiration? For example, the one you were working on right now, is it a collaboration with your client or is it something that you get free reins on? Let me know if I'm sitting too far from the speaker. Um, that, one, that one is a collaboration with a client. He has told me everything that he wants and then I've carefully discussed all of 
the colors and the design and, and everything. It took us a while to get to that point. But, uh, and then when I do my own boots, it's just a vision that I have. I have one in my head right now that I haven't taken the time to go put on paper, but I, I need to get that done before I lose it. Right. And do you usually draw first, have it on paper, and then yes. do you let it sit a little bit before you work with the leathers or? It depends on how it comes out. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes they, the best ones just flow out. And then when I'm through, I look at it and I'm like, wow, that's wonderful. Where did it come from? And then others, I really have to work to get it out. I have to, it's like pulling teeth and I need to let it set and refine some stuff. Mm. I personally have a favorite and I think I posted it on our Instagram. Um, I borrowed it from your, your Instagram photos, but it's uh -huh. the one with, a, it's floral with a lot of purple stitches but it's stitched ever almost like layers yes. and layers yeah i like that one um, do you have a favorite that you i really think it's my wi-fi i'm sorry not a problem i took the opportunity to run and get a couple of things to show you if we get there oh thank you so much um i think i was just talking about favorites and uh -huh. i think Favorite of mine was one with the purple threads. Mm -hmm. um, what, which style or which upper or, or what, you call it boot top? Yeah, the yes. shelf. Yeah, the boot top uh, design that you like or any any boot that you've made in the past. Do you have a favorite? Well, those purple ones, I really was happy with the way those turned out because I've never seen that technique done before, and I didn't know until I got it through if it was actually going to work. It was a pleasant surprise. Let's put it that way. And then if you've seen the boots I made called Satan is Real, I really <laughs> liked those because those were based on an album cover from 1959 from one of my favorite bands. And it was just a joy to get to make those boots. Oh, that's great. And was that for somebody in particular or do you have one for yourself as well? Those were for a musician friend. Mm -hmm. And then I liked making them so much that I made another pair of boot tops that I was going to raffle the okay. finished boots. And that's when I found out private individuals aren't allowed to do raffles. Right. And now I'm going to donate them to the International Bluegrass Music Association as a fundraiser. Oh, that's wonderful. And is it for the, the musicians affected with this COVID and also? It, it may be because. And everything that's going on right now. Or was it like a... mm -hmm. um it may yeah. be <laughs> the, it, it's for a fund that supports musicians who need help and um so i suppose that will cover the virus as well right oh that's wonderful that's so great that you're giving back um other than the machines that you showed us, do you have a hand tool that you just love and you can't live without? Or I ask me one more time. You're still, sometimes I miss words. 